In this video, I'm going to show you how we can control the school LED strips using an ESP8266. We cannot just directly connect this to the pins of the ESP8266 because it has a higher current requirements. So now I'm trying to turn it on and it's actually consuming around 200 milliwatts. Two are in parallel, so each has 100 milliamps requirement. To control this two LED panel, we need to add these two components, a resistor and then a transistor. This will increase the current capability of the ESP8266. This is now my transistor and resistor connected to the node MCU ESP8266. The base is connected to D5, which corresponds to GPIO14 of the ESP8266. Then it's connected to the base of the transistor, and then the emitter is connected to the ground. The collector, which is this part, will be connected on the LED panels cathode and then the anode will be connected on 5 volts. Now I'm done connecting the LED panels to the transistor driver that we have here. This V-in corresponds to the 5 volts that, that will be coming from the USB port so that's connected on the anode here, the anode. And then the ground or the cathode of the LED will be connected on the collector of the transistor which is here. So let's now power it on and I uploaded a LED blinking sketch here on the GPIO 14 which corresponds to D5 of this Node MCU ESP8266 board. I will now connect the USB power. And as you see, it's now blinking. I hope you find this video useful and interesting. Please don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.